Dan Plesak, Jason Benetti, thank you for having us as part of your morning and afternoon, wherever you might be, as the first pitch to Nikki Lopez. Keeping track of that in your scorebook today. Lopez up the middle into center field. He had a sneaky great year last year for Kansas City, huh? Nikki Lopez. Sneaky. Area, Nikki Lopez. And now here is one of the electric young stars for Kansas City, Bobby Witt Jr., just 20. So you hear that slogan like he's what they're supposed to look like. And I'll tell you what, his father had some kind of an arm. We played in kind of the same era. I think tremendous tools. There's just so much to like about this guy. He's ahead in the count. He pops it up. Second base, Santiago Espinal with the roof open, including Liam Hendricks from the White Sox just added. As there is a first pitch and a strike on that curve. You to talk. Well, Vinny Pasquantino, he, he, he didn't play by that. And he drops one into center field. That's a base hit. No play at third. Lopez was running and he goes sliding in. It was basically be seen but not heard. Is that right? This foul, strike one to all of us. You know, I'm a little bit before Dan, I'm a, I, a few years before, but when I got there. Thank you for asking. <laughs> I'm not the same guy. No, I was oh, a really? guy. Yeah, no, no, the game transformed me. This is in the short center field as well, and the Royals have the first run of the ball game. With Dave Winfield, Ricky Henderson, uh, you know, with uh, Phil Necro, you know, all they're yelling, Hudler, you're a bum. You'll never take Randolph's job. And I'm not going, oh my gosh. Something here in Kansas City, a lot of great young pitching in the minor leagues, some of the young, talented hitters. And, you know, you have to and fit in. To bring them into spring training, to acclimate themselves to the big league life. And there's a good. But it's a different climate now, and I like it. I think another difference too, Jason, some of the younger players that start with them, they arrive, we kind of know who Bobby Wood Jr. is, or we think we do. There's not this mystery of theirs that, like, they're in the minor. They're 15 years old, I feel like. As here comes the crowd on a couple of strikes, and that's a little bit high. Man, you both. It reminds me a lot of Chicago, kind of on the waterfront down here. Fabulous ballpark. Strike three, back to back punch. He had a walk off hit for Ocean View Little League in the Little League World Series. And here it is, 11 years later, after his walk-off hit in the Little League World Series. How about and first home run? Into right field, back it goes, and it is out of here! There you go. Somebody find that baseball for Nick Prado. Had a lot of arc on that. Or they call it launch angle nowadays. Hitter's best friend, maybe a pitcher's nightmare pitching up there, especially soft. And, and normally Barrios has good life at his fastball. What a shot. Huntington Beach is all pumped right now. Yeah, it is. This is just foul wide of first. All right, so stance, it's right? Stating. Standing straight up. It was beautiful. And an old school stance. In the air to left from Massey and Gurriel Jr. Footage of guys like that. There is some footage. Randall Grichik also was a Little League yeah. World Series hero. And you, that's the same guy now. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the beauty of that is when you're 12 and 13 years old, you have to incorporate this, or it can be a miserable existence because if you're a good hitter, you're going to make it. These guys, they all are seizing the opportunity. Opportunities for players come in different ways. But I've never, outside of the airport, uh, in the parking lot, there was 25, 30 cars and all these young kids. And I'm going, uh-oh. <laughs> it was a beautiful thing to watch all those kids come on that airplane. I'll tell you. And just, just to feel the energy. A huge victory for these Royals. You check into the hotel. A Belvin comes. He grabs your bag. You don't have to worry about it. You go up to your room. We bus from Wilmington, Delaware to Winston-Salem, North Carolina once. Oh, that's a long way to go. I see a lot of young guys come in with five tools. But that sixth tool of a baseball IQ, non-existent. This kid's got it all. A half a second. Yeah. Brilliant mind. Here in Toronto and uh, in Milwaukee, Milwaukee, right? We, we had a meeting hit all towards the alley in center field. He's a much better thrower when the ball's hit down the line. Catching, spinning, and throwing. So if he has to go, I said that's a... He goes, he doesn't miss a thing. Wow. I mean, it was a legitimate point. And he was on it. Yeah. Wow. You know, little things in baseball end up being big things. That card in their back pocket of where to play, what the count is. And 
And I just hope that we're not losing the fact, Rex, that players understanding the count, where to play hard to tell you where to play all the time. Yeah, I, I kind of I miss that too. Pasquantino gonna hook that foul, but you know, I feel, how do you feel? What's pitch is gonna work for me here? One and two, and he swings through strike three. Pasquantino. Holder. Two nothing Kansas City with a run in each of the first two innings. Home to Venezuela in the offseason, and he goes, you know, I'm, I'm the 24th, 25th guy on this team. I got to do something. He trained. He put some weight on. Look at Vlad. Home run odds, and here is Ryan O'Hearn, who leads off in the fourth inning and goes after the first pitch for strike one. Sit. Blue Jays get two back. Big inning here for Barrios. He goes breaking ball for strike two. O'Hearn's oh, goes. So there's some track record there. Not here though. Espinal from the grass has out number one. Tanache. I said, hey Gino, I'm gonna go down the ground crew. He goes, has anybody done it? He goes, no. I go, I'm gonna and put it in the bolt in the bathroom bullpen in the first stall. So I knew where it was. Okay. So I put on the pants, put on the shirt. I Follow with the broom and I'm going to third base. My job is to sweep the dirt off the turf back onto the dirt. I have no idea that Otis Nixon hits a ball in the gap in right field. He gets thrown out at third on a bang bang play. He and Otis, you guys ought to be embarrassed if you can't beat the Twins. You might as well pack it up and go home. He has no idea. It's Hank and they all know it's me. Right. Otis Nixon has no idea. No clue. No clue. This into center. It's a base hit for Eden. He comes back in after the innings over and the clubhouse. <laughs> so I planned the second one and it was against the White Sox because I knew my family would be watching that he's going to do it again. Oh. And so when I pull it off the second time, Jason, I'm out running the third base and I hear this laughing. Amazing. And said there's a guy That's in the ground crazy. crew that looks like please I could. He was right in my face. <laughs> 2 0 on the ground left side Chapman spins it for one and that I always have these memories of being a child coming up here and going to Wayne Gretzky's restaurant and all that stuff here in Toronto and then flash comes out of the clubhouse and says Mr. Benetti which is the first sign that you're about to feel old and grew up watching you yeah I'm 38 he's 24 and he grew up <laughs> watching me so I, you know I feel like a kid when I'm in the game, basically. <laughs> No, he's very, very kind of Michael Massey and a really good kid. He said he Chicago land area, Michael Massey. This into center field. He's got another base hit. Started the year in double A and now he's here in the big league. Dan, that, that kid's. I don't think Andrew gets Andrew Benetti very much, though. I think that's a one way street. This to third. Chapman to second to get one. Blue Jays fans have got to be so. He has pride. Yeah. Pride in his game. Vermeen goes from first, throw down to second, is in time. Three catchers on the roster, Jansen, Kirk, who's DHing today, and Zach Collins as well, as this ball is flared to center by Nicky Lopez. And what do you see from that curveball when it's going well? Well, what, what helps him is that pitch right there. He has balls, and it just is one of those sliders that doesn't stop, and then he has one that's more 12 to 6. That pitch right there is you're going to get a breaking ball, something sweeping down and away. On 0 and 2, there it was. Relying on, relying on Chip through the league. And, and so they're going to get even better. They're making more improvements, but he has the knack to go the other way. And he didn't quite get there. He fell a little short. One down. Advertisement that we just played. Thought you were talking about me and Dan. Yeah. Why has this? He <laughs> Pasquantino grew up in the Richmond area, but he was a fan of all things New York growing up. He was a Yankee fan. First baseman ever. I, I fell out of my, my chair. Don Mattingly. Really? Were you born then? His jersey retired last week with the Mets. Big moment. Very emotional. Rookie. Nice to see that side of Ron, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Two two. In the air to center field. Bradley Zimmer makes the count. 596. Yeah, his last outing, he threw 94 pitches. So you're right. Maybe in a couple of more innings, if he can get some early count outs. Statcast. Powered by Google Cloud. You guys missed the turf here at Rogers Center. Burned on it. I didn't care. Heck, I did bounce. I could run. I'm gonna be, get a base hit. You're a very unique person. There are a lot of things that are never smoked AstroTurf. <laughs> <laughs> two, 
Two and two for all of our. It hits. You so I'm gonna up there to chop it. Now that's unusual. Most guys want a barrel. I wanted to hit it soft. Breaking ball to the corner. Later in the race, but one of the iconic track and field moments in the last 25 years here at then Scott. See, these are world championships. Beautiful venue too. Oh, the the new track and field venue. I've got Steve Prefontaine and his influence continues to sort of wind through that campus in Eugene. What we are going to see when the pitcher slash hitter clock comes into vogue whenever it does in Major League Baseball is that see how we can generate more action. We can cut the game down by 15 or 20 minutes. I think it'll be good for everybody. Especially if what is there going to be a little bit of a, a change with the shifting particularly for left handed hitters ball in the air to find any kind of base hit on that right side. There's a good stroke to left. Hey, but in baseball anymore because of the shifting we've taken a lot of immobile players and you're able to move them around in the diamond. Remember it like it was yesterday got the first base Tommy Sant first base coach wanted to know if I wanted a jacket. Standing there baking it at Eric Caro says to me that's your first hit. Huh. How old are you dogs. I actually thought for about 30 seconds Jason that I could hit. Oh did you. I did. I did. An issue for Barrios this year a lot of an issue at 323 as he gets a swing and a miss there. For Bounce into the stands and I'm standing on second base like I was King Kong. Line drive Ooh. past second. Espinal couldn't get there. It's a base hit for Prado and O'Hearn stops at second. So the Royals. <laughs> Thank you.